Because I was that kid, you know, and being able to give a kid that moment, you know, give a kid that pair of shoes, I think for me, I think that's pretty special. I'm Donovan Mitchell, and you're watching Unbox with BR Kicks. So right here we have my collaboration with Body Armor and my signature shoe with Adidas. You know, I'm pretty excited, very excited I should say, to uh, with this collaboration. It's Body Armor's first collab with a shoe. I'm blessed to be able to, to be the first one. I'm excited for what's more to come. When we decided to, to do this collab, I was like, we gotta do it with my, my favorite flavor, which is Tropical Punch. And, you know, I'm a player who likes to wear, you know, shoes that stand out, you know, and what better way to have the bright green with the yellow and the orange on them and kind of just go crazy with them. I focus and really lock in on what I put in my body. Obviously, you know, the flavor's great, but there's no artificial flavor. There's electrolytes, you know, there's, there's a lot of good things that are in this drink that I stand for and that I focus on when I start going about my diet. Uh, what better way to represent that than uh, on my feet? I think the coolest part, you know, is being able to go from, you know, different collaborations to collabing with people that I, to, to brands that I work with and, and have ownership in. I think being able to kind of bridge those gaps and bring them together and also bring the exposure, I think it's, it's been pretty, pretty cool for me, you know, just finding ways to, to continue to, to get exposure and show and show that there's certain things you can do on the shoot, you know, that are that are pretty special. And as a kid, I loved, you know, seeing different different brands on shoes, kind of mix with my favorite athletes. So for me, just trying to find ways to bridge that gap and um, ultimately bring body armor to be number one and help bring body armor to be number one in a sports drink in, in a few years. I think it's still surreal for me. I think it's, you know, it's, I, I'm still over, over, overjoyed every time I see it. Yeah, you know, every time I go into an Adidas store, you know, I make sure I kind of see if kids look at my shoe and they see me for a picture and I happen to have, I carry about five boxes of extra shoes in my car. Um, so just being able to be like, at a spur of the moment, just be like, you want a pair of shoes, what size are you? Uh, and sign them and give it to them. I think those reactions right there, you know, I think from your priceless, you know, that's what you really, is what you do this for outside of playing for love of the game, being able to inspire the youth. So when I find a kid that, you know, is either wearing my jersey or wearing my shoes, giving him or her an extra pair, uh, I think is, is the ultimate joy for me. I, I tell a lot of stories through shoes. I think it's a great way to get exposure to things that need attention. Um, well, with Brianna Taylor, uh, it happened in a city I went to school in, you know, a city I considered my second home. Um, she was unjustly shot in her own home. It, when they, the officers weren't even brought to justice. They were brought to justice for shooting everything but Breonna Taylor, which, you know, for me, I think is, you know, outrageous. You know, and I'm gonna continue to shed light on, on what's needed. But for that, just finding ways to, to, to bring attention, to not let her name, you know, be forgotten. You know, so for myself, continuing to make sure people understand that what happened wasn't right and we still need justice. We're still seeking justice as, as her family's still seeking justice, as a people, we're still seeking justice, as a country, we're still seeking justice on those officers. Um, the ultimate goal, one, to be the best basketball player I can be. You know, one of the best athletes that not just Adidas, but the NBA has, has seen. But also just create change, whether it's on the court, you know, with my voice, just finding ways to, like I said, bridge that gap with the partners that I work with, uh, being able to give back to Jacob Blake's kids and help their education, being able to create change in so many different ways, you know, like no one has done before. Um, and I think that's really my ultimate goal, be the best basketball player uh, that I can be, and then create change in, in every way possible.